I believe the takedown of Lady Susan and all the ruckus inside the royal family today was a planned, coordinated and strategic communications and press attack on William and Kate, designed to inflict maximum damage at a time of maximum exposure when they're in the States. And the payoff for inflicting that catastrophic damage inside the royal family is that on the other side of the seesaw, it elevates Meghan and Harry on the very day that the trailer for their Netflix documentary is released and it gives some kind of credibility to everything Meghan has been saying. Of course, now we have the pictures of Meghan crying, which chimes perfectly with her accusations that the royal family are racist, because what do you know, on that same very day, it turns out a member of the royal family was caught saying racist things. Well, if you pedal back a bit, what actually happened was that Lady Susan, 83 years old, and for 60 years, the most loyal lady-in-waiting and servant to the Queen. She happened to ask a lady at an event with a name badge on, with an interesting name and an interesting ethnic outfit, where she was from. Probably meaning, you know, where's your outfit from? Where's your name from? What, what's the background to, to how you're presenting at this event? And God knows, Lady Susan probably couldn't be asked to be at that event in the first place. How many events has bloody Lady Susan had to be at at 83 years old? She was finding a route in to a conversation with a lady that possibly, arguably, she didn't have that much in common with, but wanted to have a conversation with all the same because that's what she's done loyally for 60 years. And could that leader of the charity... Could Fulani just take that? Could she just say, oh, well, actually, this dress and this fabric is from here. I'm actually from the UK. I'm British, but my name links back to blah, blah, blah. Could she not have done that? No. Fully mic'd up and participating in 16 days of activism for her charity, she decided to take maximum offence at a minimally offensive situation that could have been so easily diffused and if not then just walk away love but instead now she's saying that she felt violated she felt that her entire ethnicity was being questioned that her entire citizenship was being questioned and worse that she was abused by Lady Susan not not physically perhaps but that she was a victim of abuse all the same you couldn't make it up She's also godmother to Prince William, the Prince of Wales. And you know what? What I would have loved to have seen is Prince William come out and say, do you know what, Lady Susan, she's been my godmother and she's been an absolute brick. She was a stoic supporter of my grandmother. For 60 years, she served my grandmother. And I can give you my personal, personal commitment that she is as welcoming, as kind, as genuine, and as lovely a person as you would ever care to meet. And clearly there's been some misinterpretation. She would be mortified. And I'm sure that we would all like to apologise for any offence that's been taken, but none was meant. Do we have to do this weird, that wasn't acceptable, we would never accept that language, she's been dismissed from her position, bended knee, we apologise for being white, self-flagellating until blood pours from our shoulders. Does that always have to be the response? At what point do we say she wouldn't have meant that in any way? She's not that person. But instead we go on bended knee. And of course, who benefits from all of this? And who are the mainstream, mainstream media, mainstream media, mainstream media whipping up support for Meghan Markle, and Prince Harry. And so on the very day that this story breaks and people are supposed to imagine it happened coincidentally and by chance, we have pictures of Meghan Markle weeping because of the intolerable racism she faced in the royal family. Bear in mind, she's a woman who said she was white, identified as white when she wanted acting positions, but now it kind of elevates her over William and Kate is absolutely allied with all those people shouting racist at Lady Susan, aged 83, who, who must be wondering what the hell has gone on. And if there's one saving grace in all of this, 
is that the Queen, for whom British people queued in line for 30 hours to pay their final respects to, she's not around to see all of this horrible stuff happen within the family that she spent her whole life trying to protect and preserve. 